the blade bayonet. Nice. The only thing that is not absolutely correct. Gun showers, YouTubers, we are in Fenton, Missouri at the big St. Louis County Gun Show. It is April 21st, 2024, 9 a.m. Show just opened up. The doors are already open, guys. I got $650 burning a hole in my pocket. Let's go, let's go see if we can't find some sort of deal to take home today. And as always, guys, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave a comment. All right, guys, we just got through the line. Let's see what the lighting is like in this building. Very nice. One of my favorite gun shows to go to. We got all the way back there and all the way back there. So let's go start this adventure, see if we can't find us a sweet deal to take home today. We are looking at a Remington Model 11 custom 12 gauge running at 850. Right next to that, we got a CZ 12 gauge running 595. Third one in the rack is a Remington 870 12 gauge running 525 on that one. And we've got a nice little side by side here with hammers. Looks like a Peterson 10 gauge, double 895. Wow, that'll kill your shoulder. Got us a Mossberg 512 gauge, deer gun, 450. Second down from the rack, we've got us a high point nine millimeter carbine, 595. And last one on the rack, we've got a nice Mosin the Gaunt, 762, 54, 875. A Savage Mod 240 and 410, over, under. Wow, very nice, 1500. We are running another Savage 94 410, 325. Looks to be a single shot right there. We've got another single shot. USTA 410 single, 275. We've got a Stevens 301 and 410, 295. Another Stevens Mod 39 and 410, 325. And last on the rack, we are looking at an Eclipse 12 gauge M2 shotgun, side by side, 750. We've got a... Winchester 370, 16 gauge, 425. Very nice. I like that. I don't see a lot of the odd ones. I'd be up for a 28 gauge if I found one or a 10 gauge. Ivar Johnson, 16 gauge, 420. Another beautiful rifle there. We've got an XL 16 gauge single, 295. Coming here on the rack, we are looking at a Savage 22A, 20 gauge, 325. And a Winchester 20 gauge single. 840, Winchester 840, 325. Third from the end of the rack, we're looking at an Eastern, Eastern Arms 20 gauge, 295. And second, right next to the side by side, a Winchester Mod 370 20 gauge, 350. And I don't know if you can see that work on that. That's the one we're looking on now. Let's see. We are looking at a Savage 550 and 20 gauge, 925 for that side by side. Run over to the next rack, we got a Car Pet 10 gauge, 795. And a NR Davis double, 395. Looks to be a 12 gauge to me. And a Western Arms 12 gauge single, 300. And a Remington 12 gauge double, 950. And then we have a 12 single side lever, 225. Uh-huh, never heard of that. Since I can see it on there, that's neat. A Brazil 12 gauge, 250, single shot. And a Excel 12 gauge, 295. Another single from UTAS, three inch 12 gauge, 275. A double barrel here at the end. A William Powell 12 gauge, double with hammers, 850, very tight, it says. A Crescent Firearms, 250, as is double barrel. Hmm, wonder if it works. Got two triggers. We're looking at a Let's say a Marlin 25 and 22 cal, 375. Next to it, we've got a Ruger 1022 Custom, 780. And a Remington Mod 105, 22 cal, single shot, 275. Next to that, we are running a Revelations Bolt 410. Oh, a 410 Bolt, 395. Hmm. Mossberg Mod 42M, 22 short, long, long rifle, 425. Again, an bolt gun. And then we've got us a pump right here from Winchester 1890, 22, 995. And a Marlin Mod 80, 22 short long long rifle, 425. 
Second from the end of the rack there, we are looking at a Winchester Mod 67 and 22, 425, and the very last one, a Daisy 7.7 caliber, 150. All right, guys, we are looking at a Colt SP1 with the correct mag, 1950, very nice. We've got a Remington 870 TAC, running 525, 525 on that one, and a Remington 700 BDL and 300 RVM left-handed. Oh, I wonder what the price is. 1150, excellent. It is a very good looking gun there. At the Mossberg Shockwave 590 in 20 gauge. Man, I don't see those often. Run 500 on that. We've got the Dickinson XXD XX3D M2 12 gauge. That's a good looking 12 gauge for 275. Hmm. I don't know much about Dickinson. We've got the Remington Sportsman 12 gauge, used, running 700. We've got a TriStar Cobra 3 12 gauge, 20 inch barrel, 320. Guys right here, if you're interested in these tables, that's DG Firearms, you can pause it and take a look. We've got another TriStar Cobra, used, running 300 on that 20 gauge, and an over and under Upland Hunter, used, running 400. Man, what is this? Look at this. Does this say Risen? Right there. I don't know much about it, and I don't want to put any fingerprints on it, so we're just going to leave that as is. We've got another one right here. Look at that. Rizzini? Never heard of it. Maybe you guys can jump in the comments and uh, tell me about those two guns there. I've never seen them, but they're in locked cases as well. All right, what do we got over here? We are running a used Howa 1500. Custom stock, Timney Trigger, 1500. We've got next it on the rack a Ruger M77 Mark II 243 Winchester with Nikon scope 1250, a Colt AR15 Mod SP1 2500. Got a little crack right there. And then next to that, we've got us an Arsenal Sam 7SF 762 by 39 Red Dot Surefire Light used 1800. And then we've got an Anderson AR15 running 550 on that tag. We've got a Six Hour M400 Tread 960, excuse me. We've got an Anderson in 7.62 by 39, 900 camo. We've got a UTG Pro in 223 Wild, 1150 right here. And next to that, we've got the Anderson 6 millimeter arc, 18 inch barrel, 750. And on the end of the rack, an AR-15 and 5.56 running 650. We've got an AR-15, 800 cash for a pistol. We've got a 350 Legend on this AR right here. And another little AR pistol, 650 and 556. Five, We've got a couple more pistols right here and 300 blackout running 750 and seven and 556 five, running 650. Another Anderson in 762-39-800, 300 blackout, 750. And an AM15 Mini, 762-39, eight and a half. We've got a SIG P320 Scorpion with 400 rounds of ammo, 1475. We've got a used Smith & Wesson MP45. 680. We got a Glock 21 Gen 5 45 ACP 685. A Smith and Wesson MP 45 2.0 475. An EAA MC 1911 45 ACP 550. A TSAS 450. We've got the Springfield Armory 1911 Defender 45 ACP 650. The Kimber LW Nightstar 750. The TSAS 1911 Raider 630. A Ruger SR 1911 45 ACP 680. A TSAS 1911 Duty Stainless Steel. Beautiful looking gun there, 650. We've got a Smith & Wesson M&P, 57, 680. Ooh, it's today a 5.7 day for the gun show show. We've got a six hour X10 10 millimeter, 800. We've got a Springfield 1911 Ronin, 10 millimeter, 860. A Glock 22 Gen 5, 40 Smith & Wesson, 620. Got another 40 below it, 475. And a Taurus in 40, I think it's a G3C, running 280. The six hour P365 X and 9mm, 620. The six hour P365 Macro Tac Ops, 9mm, running 795 there. And then we got the FN509 on top, 675. The Springfield Armory Echelon, 9mm, 700. And the Springfield Hellcat and FDE, 590. Springfield Hellcat Pro GU Bundle, 9mm, 600. And we've got the Walther PPD Pro, 9mm, 800. The Walther and Tungsten Gray, 800. And the Smith & Wesson SD9. 330 and the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus 9mm 475 and then the Smith & Wesson Equalizer 500. Another RAI VR60 12 gauge 
Run a 475 on that one. We've got the Radical NKX3 in 12 gauge. Run a 425. Good looking AR-15 right there. Ooh, the Stoger Coach Gun in 20 gauge. Put 550. That's a good looking gun right there. I like that one a lot. 20 gauge as well. You don't see 20 gauge them. Anyways, we might have to come back to that one. We've got the Stoger 12 gauge. Run a 625 inch stainless. That's a damn good looking gun right there, folks. We got the Norinco SKS 525 and folding stock with the rail up top. And we've got us another SKS right here, running 650 on that one. And then next to that, we have a 500 on this SKS with the folding stock. That's not your bad prices on your SKSs, guys. Then we've got a Russian Sega 1350 AK 12. Beautiful gun right there, folks. I ain't got the money for that one today. We've got the 9mm, 600 bucks on it from Century Arms, Wasser. That's a, hmm, I like what this guy's got at the show today. Huh. I got us a side-by-side -side right here. I don't see nothing on it. It looks like a Remington Arms. Next to that, we've got the M&M &M M10X AK-47, 1200. Got 1900 on this AK next to it. And then we've got us a Sega AK-47, around a 1900 on that guy right there. We got a little wood furniture here on this Mosin Nagant 76254R, $495. That's a good looking Mosin for the price. Usually high price Mosins don't look so good. And the Remington 1903 A3, 30-06, $1,300 right there. We are running 16 gauge Bolt, 16 gauge, $325. That's a good looking Bolt 16 gauge right there. Man, I haven't seen this guy before. I'm, I like his stuff. He's got a good selection. Got the Remington 783 and 270, running 450 on that one right there. And we've got a Remington 780L, 65 Creedmoor, 565. A Remington 783 and 243, 535 right there. Very good looking guns. What kind of backpack are we looking at here? We are looking at a, let's see, the Rossi 22 inch, two different barrels. 22, 22 Brazil, running 209. Got 209 on this Rossi 22. That's a neat looking gun right there, that's for sure. All right, we got a TriStar Upland Hunter. It takes three inch, 12 gauge, running 525 there. And down here we got the Ivar Johnson in camo, 12 gauge turkey gun, 425. Very nice, I like it. The guy's got good prices on his gun. And we've got 175 on the old Cricket. Oh, guys, look at this. Landor Arms. We picked up the Landor Arms Lever Action 12 for 500. We got 525 on that one and Bullpup. And then next to that, we've got a RIA Maruva 12 gauge, 395. Good looking gun. We've got the Keltec 22 long rifle, 375. And we've got the Keltec Sub 2009 millimeter, 525. And then the Keltec and 5.6, a folding rifle. Well, Guys, we recently had a discussion about Caltech and their plastics, and boy, that, that's not going to lie there. We got the Rossi Gallery, 22 long rifle, 345. That's a good looking pump. That is a darn good looking pump right there. I'm having a hell of a good day today. All right, we've got again the RAI and 410 lever, 600. Oh man. Call me a kid in a candy store today, but I am just enjoying every gun I'm looking at today. Right, the RAI and R9, Rossi, sorry, Rossi R92, 357 mag, got 775 on the price tag, but it's cost out. And then we've got the 44 mag with the cowboy loop, 800, beautiful looking gun. And then Uberti and 38 special, used, running 850 on that one. And next to that, we got the Marlin 19, 1894 lever action, 975. Look at that sight system on that. Very cool. Uh oh. Missouri made CMMG MK4 950. And we got some Black Rain over here running 995 on this Black Rain AR15 here. We got another one by Black Rain all done up 1300. And then another one in 556 975. That's a good looking upper right there. And four guard and then a CMMG MK3 and 762 running 995 on that one. We got a Spikes with adjustable trigger 300 blackout. Beautiful, 825. And then we've got the Andro AR-15 and 700. 
in 5.56. And then we got an LMT piston 5.56, 2600. I don't know much about it. Leave a comment if you can tell me about why it says piston. And we got an American Tactical Omni running 450. That's not too bad on a old used AR today, if that's new even. 450 is a decent price tag. You usually see them for five nowadays. We got the JR Carbine TCT 9mm. 675s crossed out. Looks like 625 and 9 millimeter. That's not too bad right there. And Anderson lower on this 55 on this AR15 and 556. We're on 560. I do need a lower. We're running PSA lower 240. Yeah, a little out of my price range. I'm looking to pay today. We've got 525 on that one with that cool mag well, and we've got this one all American flagged up. The sharps lower. We're on 450. All right, one of 45 made. Illinois, we've got a beautiful Colt right there, 2395, very cool. We've got the Taurus and 357 mag running 475, got them nice grips on it, and the Thunderstruck. Uh, we all know how I feel about that one, running 425. We've got us a nice Donald J. Trump right there from T Sass running 1500. We've got us a nice Smith and Wesson, beautiful work on that slide, 1250. And then we've got a CZ 75 limited edition in nine millimeter. Beautiful gun, look at that. Running 1500, and then we've got 900 on this 45 ACP from Ivar Johnson. Again, very, very pretty gun. We're running 775 here on this Kimber. And next to that, we've got this Glock. Let's see if we got details on it. Running 700 on the Glock. Got 250 on the Ruger Wrangler. So we've got us a Ruger SP 101 running 860. And then we've got us a Kimber in 10 millimeter, 1,000 bucks. And then we've got another Ruger Wrangler running 270 right there. And then we've got a FAP 45 Colt, 850. Another FAP single Colt, 45 long Colt, yep. 45 Colt, sorry, 850. And then we've got 375 on this FXS-9. Hmm, not too sure. AHSS, never heard of them. Then we've got the Sig P322, 650. And then we've got the Ruger SP101. 900. We've got a Taurus G25, 9mm, 290. We've got 400 on this Taurus TX22. We've got an ATI FXS9, 9mm, 400. And we've got a Glock 19 running 900. Below that, we've got us a Glock all done up. Let's see if I can see some details on there. Running 1200. And then we've got us a Bond Arms Cyclops, 45, 70, 700 bucks. That's them are beautiful. You don't hardly ever see those at the shows. We've got us a Crossman in 38 Special running 225 on that one. That's not too bad. They've got another ATI FX9, 9mm, 400. And then we've got an FXS9 again, 400. We've got the Kimber 700 on that micro carry. And the CZ P10 and 9mm running 500. We've got 310 on this Walter PQ, PPQ and 22 long rifle. We've got the Springfield Hellcat Pro distressed flag, 695. We've got the Glock 43X in bronze, 525. We've got a Harley Davidson edition Glock there, running 575. We've got the Springfield Hellcat Pro in 9mm, 610. And we've got a Smith & Wesson SDV 9E, 360 on that one right there. We've got us another Smith & Wesson CSX. 560, a Smith & 9mm, 400 MMP, and another MMP 9mm, 400. And then we've got 400 again on this MMP above it. We got another MMP in 10mm, running 600. 9mm below that, 475. We've got the MMP EZ 400, another EZ Shield. I've got some 400 on that one. We got 480 on this Smith & Wesson MMP 9. We've got a Smith & Wesson MMP 2C 495. We've got the MMP 2.0 400, and then we've got a CSX from Smith and Wesson 575. We've got the Smith and Wesson in 38 540, another Smith and Wesson ported MP9 690. Beside that, another one MP2 PC 625, the MMP Shield 9 millimeter 405, and then another Smith and Wesson Shield 40 cal 405. And we'll run 580 on this Smith and Wesson CSX in 9 millimeter. Got a Remington RM380 370. I've never seen this little guy on any of these shows. Huh. Smith & Wesson, 9mm, in teal, 400. Then we got us a Springfield 1911. Let's look at this price here, 860 on that one. 
And we've got us the Bursa 325 with threaded barrel. Now, if I was getting something in 380, it'd have to be this Bursa right here before I get something like that Remington. Uh, if you think otherwise, guys, leave a comment. Smith & Wesson M&P 40C Compact 465. Got the kel for 230, the P17. Again, that plastic, but I do like the trigger on it. The Pieta 1870, 1873, 357 and nine millimeter. Man, that's cool. 595, I did not know. 357 and nine millimeter. Is it two different cylinders? Um, let me know in the comments. And we've got us a T-SAS 10 millimeter, 590. Man, I could add to my 10 millimeter collection with this bad son of a buck right there. Be better than the, uh, you know, Gun Show Show's current 10 millimeter selection comes out of two high points. So a little more reliability, I would think there. We've got the PACA Expert USA Carry 605. We've got us a Smith & Wesson and 44 Mag 1090. And we've got a very nice done up 357 Mag Smith & Wesson. I don't know if I can catch that slide work. 975, sorry, framework. Then we've got a Heritage 22 Long Rifle, 200 bucks, a Chiapa and 22 Long Rifle, 175, and a Pieta 1893 again, 45 Long Colt, 770. We got the PMR 30 and 22 Mag, 475, and another TSAS. We're we'll running on this TSAS here, 410. Now that's a dang good price on a TSAS, 410. That is not too bad at all. And the Diamondback, let's see what they're running on this one. I've already got one of these. 325, eh, not too bad. We've got a G Force Arms, 20 gauge over under 500. It's a good looking gun. We've got another G Force Arms 12 gauge, 285 for that pump. And we've got 225 on this made in China Hawk Model 12. And we've got a Remington Versa Mount 12 gauge, 925. The Takarev SDS exclusive, won't understand the paint job ever, 395. We've got a ATI 12 gauge, semi-automatic, 450. And our car, let's see, Churchill 20 gauge combo. I'm trying to figure out what that means, 300. We've got us a Stevens over here. I don't see a price tag on it, but we got a Stevens right next to it in 12 gauge for 275. Uh-oh, 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 double trouble, 2700. Gilboa Snake in 556. I can't afford it, but maybe one day, folks. All right, guys, we've got this private sale, 900 bucks on this AR with a hollow sun. And we've got a Springfield Saint running 1250 on that guy right there in 556. Five, and over here, we've got a Wyndham, 850 on this Wyndham AR. And then we're going down to ATI, 525 on this Omni. AR-15 right there, got another one for 540 and 556. We've got 500 in this in gray, the hybrid multi-cal. And we've got a Smith & Wesson MP for 710. And then next to that, we got the one in 22 cal from Smith & Wesson, all done up, running 450. We've got a Smith & Wesson MP 15, 690, 675, and 695 on this one next to it, Smith & Wesson MP. Got 695 again on this one next to it. Nice Smith and Wesson. 556, 800. Beautiful guns. Okay, we have got the Savage Axis and 243 Winchester, 450. Next to that, a very beautiful Browning. Hunter and 270 Mag. Look at that. I don't see, see the bottom of that. I just want to try to turn that. Beautiful. 950. We were running Ruger in 30 odd six, 355. That is not a bad price at all right there. We got a Ruger American 243, 450, a Ruger in 22 long rifle, 310, another Ruger, 310, and then a Ruger 1022, 310 again. Over here we got a Ruger American in 308, 595 with Crossfire Vortex 2. And then we've got a Ruger American in 243, running 595 on that one. And then a Ruger American in 270, 595. We got the Heritage Long one. What's the price? I've always wanted one of these. 325. They just look so fun. 660 on this 308 from TC Smith and Wesson. We got a Rossi R95 and 3030. 795. We've got a beautiful looking Henry right here in 4570. 1150. Next to that, we've got us another Henry. Let's see if I can pull this tag out of here without making a fuss. We've got us a Henry 22 long rifle running 410 on that one right there. And then we've got a Hen Henry and 22 mag 515. 
And we've got this beautiful Henry American Eagle 22 and short long long rifle. Just amazing looking gun. Beautiful octagon barrel. Very nice, way out of budget, can't afford it. And we got the Smith & Wesson and 44 Mag 1200, another good looking gun right there. Then we got us a Radical Arms in 556 for 645. And then Smith & Wesson M&P 22, 490. Hold up, do you mind me us doing this on film? Let's make no, it candid. No, 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 go ahead. I got my boy Monty here. He said, I got something to show you. Talk okay. to me, brother. I have a bargain. All right, what do we got? Okay, I am going to be getting out of the modern gun business, okay. period, okay. because it is of no benefit and I don't care for them. Okay. I use it as a means to increase my collection of mm -hmm. old guns. Yep. So I have a Russian SKS okay. that I have no use for. Mm -hmm. They command a value, but I don't care. Okay. I'm in it $500. You've already answered, yeah. And I will sell it to you for $500. <laughs> Done, you need to see that ID, right? Yep, I do. Oh, I can't stop now. This is we two, two, sure two. Uh, 21. Uh, do I look like 21? It. My silver hair, my silver beard. It's my kids who made that happen. No, there ain't no way I'm saying no on that. Show you the guy. Guys, we can't say no to that. That is uh, sight unseen. That's how much I trust this guy. The blade bayonet. Nice. The only thing that is not absolutely correct, mm -hmm. somebody has put this, this replaced this plate mm -hmm. so they can put an optic on it. Okay. So other than that, she's ready to rock and roll. Man. Appreciate you, brother. Take her out, let her talk, be safe. Oh, yeah. Now I gotta try to find a little ammo for that bad boy while I still film. Oh, I've got plenty of ammo if you need it. This right there. All right. All right, guys. So we picked up the SKS. Russian SKS, a little modified to it today. Got it for a good deal, 500 out the door. Good looking uh, gun. You can get the good original, looking you can furniture. Get the original plate on this. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is pull this pin, replace this top plate. Which okay. will cost you probably, you can probably find a plate for about 30 bucks. All righty, sounds good. Thank you, sir. Thanks, bud. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right, we're gonna go set this one up. We got a little more money left. See if we can't extend that. Maybe find some ammo for this while we're here. Plus, we got a little bit of filming still left to do. All right, we got us a binary lower over here, guys. I wonder what we're running there. We're running 480 binary trigger in that lower. We've got us a masterpiece arm, 9 millimeter, running 600. A Delton kit, 500. We've got the Rock Island TM22 and 22 long rifle, 250. We've got the Rossi R95 and 3030, 800. We got the Rossi R92 and 357 mag, running 750 on that guy right there. We've got the Chiapa 22 long rifle. Nice, 400, but at that price, I'd go for the Henry. We've got the Charles Daly 301 Field in 12 gauge, 350, and we've got the G Force 410 600, and an ATI Bulldog 12 gauge, 400, and then a G Force Arms semi auto 12 gauge, running 300. That's a good looking semi auto for 300. And then we've got the Pioneer Arms AK 800. And we've got us a uh, Century over here. I'm looking for prices, don't see one. We've got 900 on the Mini Draco AK, and again, 900 on the Mini Draco AK. We've got a Great Lakes GL10 7mm mag, 1100, another Great Lakes 7mm mag, 1100 in bronze, and another in 7mm mag, 1100 in green, and 30 odd six. Beautiful gun, 1100. We've got the Radical Arms in 308, 1000 bucks. we got a Radical Arms again, 308. Thousand bucks, a AR-15 and 6.5, 6.8 SPC 500. We've got a Delton 500 and a TNW ASR Aero Survival 45 ACP running 700. We got the Keltec R50 and 5.7, 800. We got a FN and 5.7, 1400. Sorry, and an FN 509, 650. Another FN 509, 650. Law Enforcement Edition 700, and the FN Reflex 600, another FN Reflex and 9mm 600, and again, running 500 on the FN 502 TAC and 22 Long Rifle. Beautiful looking gun right here in 502. I like the tones across the board on it, all three colorings. Good looking gun. Running 500 on that one. We got the Ruger EC9 350, another EC9 S380 in pink 350 and a security nine from ruger 400 the ruger 57 pro 750 and a ruger lcp 380 290 browning buckmark 500 we've got the 
Springfield Echelon, 9mm, 700. We've got another Springfield Echelon in 9mm, running 680 on that one in the Springfield Armory XDM, 10mm, 700. Springfield Hellcat, 9mm, 600. Another Hellcat again, 580. We've got it in 45 ACP, the XDS 500. And we've got a Springfield Hellcat Optic Ready 600 ND. Mossberg MC2SC 9mm 500, H&K VP9 9mm 700, and the VP9B 700, HK VP9 TAC 800. We've got the Smith & Wesson SDV9 bundle here. I don't see a price tag on that one. We are running 9 mil 400 for this 9mm from Smith & Wesson. Another Smith & Wesson SD9VE with light 430, SD20 or 2.0, I'm sorry, 9mm, 350. Another MMP 2.0, 10mm, 700. 600 on this MMP and 40. Another one in 9mm, 600. The Smith & Wesson Shield EZ30 Super Carry, 500. And we've got a sale on Smith & Wesson MMP 9 2.0 Compact, 9mm, running 500 on those guys. We've got us a Smith & Wesson 648 22 mag, 900. A Smith & Wesson 629 Deluxe in 44 mag, 1,000. We've got a Sig Sauer P320 M17, 9mm, 700. And we've got a Sig Sauer P320 M18, 9mm, 700. Sig Sauer P2022 and 9mm, 600. And the P320C, 9mm, 550. Another P365 and 9mm, 600. And a Sig Sauer P320 and 10mm, 900. 365 XL, 9mm, 650. All right, we've got the Gearson MC14 and 380. Good looking guns. I do like gear sons. 400, we got the CZ75 SP01, 9mm, 600. And behind that, we got the CZ P10F, 9mm, 500. We've got the TSAS 1911, 500. Another TSAS PX9 Carry, 400. A TSAS 1911 Patriot, 500. You may all go to hell and I'll go to Texas. Davy Crockett. All right, TSAS 1911 again, 500. We got the Spanish Destroyer 9X23 Largo. Huh, that's a new to me. Comes with ammo. Very nice, running 725. I like this one. This 1904 Winchester Model 1897 and 12. I like that whole setup there. Very unique, running 825. And then we've got a US property marked Riot Gun J. Stevens Arm Tool Company, 1909 to 1915. Beautiful piece of history right there, 2500. And we've got the Stoger Double Defense. Running 950, I like that. That is a good looking over under right there. Then we got the infield Ishapura, 1948 RFI caliber 410. That I read, I was as I'm reading that, that developed, and as the statement came out, I'm they made that in 410. Yeah, it's a, it's a riot gun. Yeah. yeah they, uh, they made them for the, the, the Indians made them. Yeah, it's a single shot 410. It'll take a most of them, when they came in, they shot the um, like the 303 musket mm -hmm. round, and they basically just bored it out to shoot a 410. That's cool. So that one's been bored out to shoot a 410. I've shot it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a heavy gun to begin with, so there's no recoil or anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's a collector's piece if I've, if I've seen one. That's super unique. As soon as I read 410, I'm like, hold the hold the phone here. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We got us a Remington Model 11. Beautiful gun. Look at that receiver running 650 on that one. And we've got a Remington 1148 from 1949 12 gauge. Another beautiful gun running 375. And we've got the Chinese Type 53 762-54R running 550 on that one right there. And then Winchester Model 77 running 250. Mag fed, little semi-auto there. And then we've got a 1982 to 1984 Bauer Rabbit 22 cal. Oh, I saw, I saw. Does it work? Man, I just saw one for the first time last Nixa, Missouri last week. And I saw that gun, I'm like, what is that? And it did not, his did not work either. All right, we have got a US, US military Springfield trapdoor model 1879, 1878, 4570, good bore, run at 950. Next to that, we have an Argentine Mauser model 1891, all matching numbers, 650. We've got 595 on this very beautiful seven millimeter Mauser Chilean model 1895 and a Krag in 3040 Krag. Model 1898 for U.S. military, running 1595 on that tag. We've got a World War II 8 millimeter Spanish Mauser, 485. We've got a World War I Winchester Model 1917, 850. 
We're running 1100 on this World War II U.S. military Remington 03 A3 in 30 odd six, 1100. We got a U.S. military Eddie Stone Enfield model 1917 in 30 odd six, 995, and a World War II Long Branch number four MK1 1942, 800, and 303 British. We're running the eight millimeter rare late World War II K98. 1150, and we've got a 1943 U.S. military World War II Springfield M1 Garand in 30 odd six, 1950, and then we've got a U.S. military IHC M1 Garand around 1954, run at 1850 on that one. We've got a World War II M1 Garand Winchester U.S. military in 30 odd six, beautiful looking gun. Wow, 1950. That was an excellent shape. World War II Springfield M1 Garand, October 1943, 1275. Another U.S. Military M1 Grand HRA 995 and 30-odd-6. And then we've got a 303 British 1945 World War II 303 British Jungle Carbine 785. We've got a very clean World War II 1944 M1 Carbine NPM. Beautiful gun, 1500. And another World War II M1 Carbine from 1943. Sorry, yep, 1943. Rare Maker 1500. We've got the Makarov 32 ACP, good mag, sorry, two mags, very good bore, shoots good 400. We got another Makarov 9x18, P64 Poland 400, a German Mauser 1914 and 32 ACP 500. We've got us a Harrington Rough Rider 200, a Takarev and CZ52 450, and a Colt, Colt Detective and 38 Special run 800, and then a SIG and 22 Long Rifle, the Trailside Made in Switzerland Hammerless like new with factory case, 685. Huh, very unique. Colt 1911, 45 ACP, government model, 1920, 2600. We've got us a Luger German, 30 cal, or 30 cal, numbers match, 1600, and a World War II Remington Rand, 1911, U.S. military, 2350. All right, we've got the limited edition stainless 22 long rifle with grips. Oh, I can't see the brand on it, we're in a 300. We've got the Mossberg 500 with the flip-up stock, very cool, running 650 on that one. We've got a Mossberg 500 20 gauge, new in box, good looking gun, 400. We've got a Mossberg 12 gauge, 550 MK2, special edition, running 500 on that one. We've got the Weatherby PA08 20 gauge with chokes, running 450 on that one, and another model 140 20 gauge Winchester, beautiful gun. On a 450 there and an AR-15 custom and 350 legend with two mags, 700. An Intrepid 12G AR-10 upper with boxes of ammo, running 350. And right here we've got the SKS Paratrooper, 762 by 39, running 700. Very cool. What we got here? We've got a Civil War era pin fire gun, folks. I don't know much about these pin fire guns. Why don't you guys leave a comment and educate me uh, for the folks who do know. So we got 375 on that one right there. We've got a para ordnance P1345, made in Canada, 45 ACP, 650. We've got the Colt St. Louis Bicentennial, 45 Colt, 22 long rifle, set of guns, 2200, very beautiful. That's a collector's piece right there. And a self-defense piece all at the same time. Right here, we've got 1,050 on this lever gun. Looks to be a Marlin 1894 and 4440. Very cool, we've got a Smith & Wesson 59 and nine millimeter running 500. Above that, we've got 1,050 on this German Luger and 30 cal. We've got a made in China Norinco 450 pistol. Huh, seen one of them before, that's neat. We've got a Colt Lightning 38 caliber, 750 right there. We've got the Ivar Johnson 22 long rifle, eight shots, 350. Good looking little 22 revolver there. We've got 250 on this H&R 32 Smith & Wesson. We've got a Titan 22 long rifle, 175. We've got a military Astra 400 9 millimeter running 400. We've got a Ruger Blackhawk 357 mag. Manufactured 1979, 575. We've got 150 H&R and 32. I doubt it works, but I got 150 in my pocket still, folks. U.S. Revolver Company 32 Smith & Wesson running 200 on that guy there. We've got a 500 on this Argentine 1891 Mauser carbine, 762 by 53, Winchester 94 and 3030 from the early 70s, around 675 on that one right there. Very nice. Look at that, a T-Barler 16 gauge side by side, running 350 on that one. 
We got another 350 on this side by side right here from Jay Stevens, 16 gauge. Nice, last side by side I picked up in 16 gauge. I was able to pick up for 265 out the door in very mint condition. We got an NEF 50 cal muzzle loader, 275. We got a CVA gobbler, 12 gauge, smoke pole, 250. Got 175 on this little muzzle loader right there. These are personal collection, cash and carry only. It's the way we do it in Missouri. Flintlock smoke pole, 58 cal, running 350 on that one. We've got a Russian 9130 import, 550. That's not a bad looking, that's a complete gun there. All right, we've got another SKS. VC Workhorse 650. We've got 550 on this Stevens 12 gauge riot, military 77E. We've got 450 right here on this Remington 870. We've got a Savage Stevens Model 67L 12 gauge full choke 350. I like the pump handle on that one. We've got a US Military Mossberg 22 long rifle 550. We got 1150 on this US M1 Grand and 30 odd six. We've got a Winchester Mod 190 22 short long long rifle 295 semi auto. Ooh. That's pretty neat, 22 short long long rifle and semi auto. One of the commenters made a comment about that before. How neat those are, very cool. ATI cavalry, over under, beautiful gun. Looking at 650 on these guys right here. Got one in 20 gauge next to it, over under. Got the ATI Nomads, we got them in 20. Oh, we picked one up from these guys recently, guys. Way better pricing out the door than the rest, running 150 on both of these guys there. Got the Keltec SU16 Sport running. Ooh, nice. 595 on that one. And we've got a Keltec here. Very nice. We've got a Richardson Arm side by side 12 gauge. Good looking gun. Running 550 right there. Today only. Running 400. Move them. Got another high point 9mm carbine with two mags. Boy, it's a little beat up, but that's the best priced high point I have seen in a long time. That's the best price high point I've seen at a gun show in a long time. It's a consignment piece. The guy came in said he needs money by Monday. That's why it's two hundred dollars. That. It's the mag. It looks cool. Wait, how many? Does it hold more, or is it just? Yeah. The... No, it holds more. Yeah, it's all the way through. They just flipped them face to face. And it works. It works. This looks ridiculous. That's why you gotta have it. Stop it! <laughs> you are not helping me in my the stupid stuff I own category. Everybody looking at me now holding a high point magazine that looks like this. We'll find, we'll find out. All right, guys, we have the Takarov TR-12, TAR-12, 350 on that guy right there. We've got us a G-Force AR-12, 12 gauge, running 350. We've got the CVA Scout and 444 Marlin, single shot with scope, 600. We've got the Henry Survival, 350, a 22 long rifle. We've got the Rossi Gallery rifle and 22 long rifle, pump, 425. We've got the Chiapa. Sorry about that. We've got the Chiapa M122, 22 long rifle, 10 round, 500. The H and K and 22 long rifle, 20 round, 600. The M and P5 and 25 rounder from HK, 600. And the BL Mauser, 22 long rifle, 525. Damn good looking gun. All right, we've got an ATI Nomad, 12 gauge, running 175. We've got the RIA, 20 gauge, running 200. We've got a Rossi, 22 long rifle, Bravo. Very nice, 425 with the loop. Got a Charles Daly in 410, the 101 running 200. We've got a Stoger M312 gauge running 450. We've got a Savage Axis and 6.5 Crete board running 450 and another Rossi 22 mag, 250. It was 17 HMR, that's what we're looking for. Remington 770 and seven millimeter OT8 running 500 there. We've got the Siberian Maxis 12 gauge. What's the capacity on this thing, do you know? Seven? Looks like it. Dude, I like that. I'm a big tube fan. If I had four, I only got 200 left. I bought an SKS already. All right, guys, we got the Typhoon 12 gauge. Running 600 on that one. We've got the Savage 64 and 22 long rifle, 225. We've got a Seiko and 270, $2,000. Very beautiful gun. Good condition. Ruger M77 and seven millimeter rag. Running 850 on that gun right there. And we've got a Clerk. Wow, look at that finish. Somebody tell me if I pronounced that right or wrong. 30 out 6, 1500. And we've got a Remington Mod 17 and 243 Winchester running $1,000 on that one. We've got the Ruger Scout and 308 Winchester with a box of ammo running 1250. And then we've got the Springfield 2020 22 long rifle running 450. What is, look at this one. 
We've got a Heritage Settler. I haven't seen Heritage make anything of this quality before. Look at that, Heritage Settler. Going to assume 22, beautiful, beautiful gun. Running 500 on that, very neat. Got an Arrow Upper, 308 Winchester. 350. We've got a Ruger Red Hawk 44 mag, thousand bucks. A Gold Star 2002 nine millimeter, no mags, 250. A Ruger GP 101 and 357, 950. A Ruger or Smith and Wesson 10-6 38 special, 725. We got a Ruger EC 9S nine millimeter, 350. The Beretta PX4 in nine millimeter. Very nice, very nice, good price. Kimber Micro nine millimeter. 750. We've got the Heritage Arms 22 Rough Rider 200. We've got another 22 Rough Rider 180. We've got the Sky CPX 2 300. Another Sky in pink 300. And we've got another Sky 300 in black. A Ruger Wrangler 22 Long Rifle 250. And and we've got the Ruger GP100 357 mag, 900. We've got an H and K R and T rail extra mags, 9 millimeter, 3,000. We've got a Ruger 5.56 Boyd's Stocket Grip 980. Beautiful looking gun right there. Wow. Got a Radical RF 15, 5.56, 650, and a Ruger M77 223 Remington 1400. Very good looking gun there. And a Mossberg 100 Air 270 Win 5, 450. Got a Marlin 30, 30, 30A. Run 850 on that one, very cool. A Savage 300, 6.5 by 284 plus ammo, 850. That's new to me, tell me about it in the comments, please. We've got a Stevens 320, 20 gauge, 300. And we've got an Inner Arms 5.45 by 39, AK, running 1750 on that beautiful firearm there. We got a Yugo SKS, 760 by 39 with grenade launcher, oh, 750. And then we've got the Remington 770 and Remington 270, 475, and a Howa 1500, seven millimeter mag, running 650 there, a US Arms and 22 long rifle, 250, I like the look of that one. You got a Rossi 17 HMR, 250, that's what we're talking about. And a Rock Island 410 running 210. And then we've got the Savage Arms and 223, running 450. Got an 817, 870 Remington, running 450 on that guy right there. We've got a 16 gauge single shot next to it, running 250 on that one. We've got an H&R 12 gauge full choke single shot, long gun right there, 250, and a five Remington 514, 250. We've got a Model 47 Winchester, shoots 22 short. Beautiful gun, 350. And on this one, we've got an octagon barrel on this Rossi 357 38 special. Let's see what we're running there, running 800. We got a Winchester 94 and 3030, 16.50. And we've got a Winchester 92, 3.8-40. Can't see too much, running 14.50 on that. Not too sure. Got a 92 Winchester and 25.20, running 1400. I believe that tag said, yep, 1400. We've got a 94 Winchester and 32 Special, running 1200 right next to it. And I've got a 32 Winchester Special. 1250 on that one and a 94 Winchester Trapper running 1400 right there. And then we've got a model 69 Winchester with scope running 350 on that one and a Savage Axis and 308 425 next to it. We've got a nice scope on this 17 HMR for 435. Hmm. I like my 17 Mossberg 243 Winchester with scope 550. A Remington Model 700 and 223, running 975. And then we've got a Remington 700 and 700 win, 300 wind mag. We are running 1500, beautiful gun, beautiful gun. All right, guys, we've got an Ivar Johnson Cycle Works, third model safety automatic hammerless, 32, 380. We've got an Ivar Johnson Cadet, 5.5 SA and 32 Smith & Wesson Long, 325. We've got another Smith & Wesson 32 hand ejector, 650. Smith & Wesson 32 Safety Hammerless, 450. We've got a Smith & Wesson model number two, second series, 475 and 38 Smith & Wesson single action. Smith & Wesson K38 Target Masterpiece model 14, no dash, 38 special, 750. Smith & Wesson 38 Military Police model of 1905, fourth change, 
795, a Smith & Wesson 38, Military Police, Model 10-5, 595. And we've got a Smith & Wesson 2232, 925. We've got a Smith & Wesson British Service Revolver and 380 slash 200. What does that mean, folks? 785. we got a Smith & Wesson 32-20 WCF. Is that? I don't know. Anyhow, we got a Smith & Wesson 32-20 WCF hand ejector, model 1905, fourth change, 675. And at the bottom here, a Smith & Wesson 32-20 CTG cartridge hand ejector, I'm guessing, 690. And a police positive 38 special, third issue, 675. Beautiful looking high standard. Longhorn double nine, 22 long rifle, 575. A Colt Army special model, 38 special. Sorry, 38 Smith & Wesson, 795. And a Colt off official police model, 32 20, 625. And a Weebly Scott Mark IV, manufactured 1946, 380, sorry, 380 Smith & Wesson, late 1976, 75. Very cool. All right, guys, we've got the Smith & Wesson Mod 1905, five and a half inch barrel, 38 special, 650. We've got a Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson 38 special, heavy barrel, 650. Colt Detective Special, 38, 925, beautiful gun. All right, guys, I just looked at the time, and unfortunately, I gotta get back to the house. I gotta have time to cut this video, get it uploaded, and get back to the family. So let's get outside, take a look at this gun we picked up today. So I took this one up front, talked to a few of the gunsmiths, they said for $500 out the door, it's got a couple blems. There's a little rust staining on some of it. There's some on the bayonet, but the bayonet's fully functional. You see some rust on the slide here. Some stuff that'll need wire wheeled up, but as the stock goes, the stock's all matching. Same color, looks all from the same piece. There's a few blemishes I can polish out, but I am very happy with this purchase. One, I think it's a good investment. We got a Russian SKS. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, hitting that bell. I'll catch you guys on future episodes.